three models of the distribution of culture based on the history of hip-hop in Opola. Three very vivid and distinctive models of distribution of music emerged with the flute of the developing hip-hop culture in Opole, a provincial Polish town. All three developed in the beginning of the 21st century, when rap music was to stay for good in all post-Soviet countries and struggle to catch up with all what America and Western Europe had already created. However, the pace of this transformation made them appear all at once and enhanced their local character. What has happened that allows us to talk about it with a straight face? Let's take small things and show how they are representative for big world. Andy Warhol, the icon of pop art, said that in future everyone would be famous for five minutes. Those words ideally refer to the story of Jarosław Kubów, aka MC Jarecki. In 2006, Jarecki, joined by DJ BRK, gave himself a try in the qualification for the Opole New Debuts contest, which have been organized for decades as a part of the National Festival of Polish Song in Opole. The history of this festival dates back to 1963. In the times of Polish People's Republic, it used to be the driving force of the centrally steered music industry, which for the political and economical reasons couldn't afford importing Western hits. On stage of the Amphitheater of Millennium, the entertainers regarded today as stars of Polish pop culture, as well as broadly understood avant-garde used to perform. The theme, from Opole to Opole, was the light motif. After the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 and political transformation in Poland, the reputation of the Opole festival had to decrease. However, thanks to the support of the public TV and the lack of alternative, this event sustained its prestigious status for years. That was the moment when Jarecki got the prize for debuting artist. Jarecki proposed a music style which had not been presented in commercial medias, though its similar blends of rap, reggae and dancehall had already taken place in the West. The jury noticed the same. This way, Jarecki stood at the end of the musical food chain. His tracks were broadcast in Polish MTV and the other commercial music channels. Due to the mass distribution, he influenced artists who couldn't afford such a widespread public. Example of Jarecki matches the most common model of the distribution of culture, where the strong subject, the institution, is at the peak and affects other elements. The story of Jarecki exemplifies the top-down distribution, also known as one-to-many. You have to keep in mind that in this case, an artist pays a substantial price for the association with the institution, which gives them such a position. They have to be recognized only through the style presented at the very beginning. After the sudden increase of popularity of Jarecki, there have emerged a few other bands presenting similar music style. He himself, tied to the characteristic compositions from the beginning of his career, couldn't develop his style and his significance in the world of music decreased. It is one of the most serious problems of artists known from the mainstream media. The problem of the audience is that small group chooses what will be watched by thousands. And as we all know, it is hard to avoid a mistake here. The first ever connection to the internet was established in Poland in 1991. This was rather a symbolic event. For the first years, only narrow group of scientists could connect to the World Wide Web. Since the introduction of the service called Neostrada by the national telecom TPSA in 2002, we can speak about the rapid increase of the users of the net. A concept of the Neo children or the children of Neostrada emerged them to define ones who can adjust to or don't know the netiquette. Three characters appeared in that period who became known only through roads of the internet. They were artist and performer Gracian Rostowski, self-proclaimed politician, presidential election candidate Krzysztof Kononowicz, and rapper Lech Roch Pawlak. Lech Roch Pawlak, born in Opole in 1983, became famous through a series of videos presented on YouTube. The first one uploaded was recorded next to Opole Amphitheater, the headquarters of the National Festival of Polish Song. 
Pavlak is known for his absurd punchlines and for using French, actually not knowing this language. His crazy flow became an object of internet jokes which reached the broad audience by the word of mouth. Many of his texts, such as On the Bicycle by Car, Jelish Papon and many others, circulate through the web thanks to the users of such sites as Demotivatore, Joe Monster, Fake, Mem Generator. These are the first Polish internet memes. In the development of culture, the mem is an equivalent to the gen in evolutionary development. The internet mem is an idea spreading itself through being copied, edited and pasted into the space of web. The popularity of Jarecki is associated with the fact that he matched the way music industry worked for decades. In turn, Lech Roch Pavlak is an artist who met the requirements of the new environment, the Internet. What are these? Posts on Facebook, which gain the highest popularity among your friends, are most often the ones which are funny, interesting and easy to judge. The tracks by Pavlak had these qualities. After watching a few seconds of any of those, we can attach a funny patch and click like. But is it enough? We might only assume why a professional advertising campaign is less popular than a funny image created by an anonymous author. The example of Lech Roch Pavlak shows the beauty and unpredictability of the bottom-up distribution. In culture of hip-hop, Bragadocio, a track focused on praising oneself and one's skills, has weird connection with declaring the ideals, such as not creating for the money or acclaim. Both the aspects are combined in a very interesting way by the artist connected with the band Dino. Contrary to the two previous examples, this isn't a band which gained a broad fame and it didn't fit in the existing and emerging system. It created one on the local playground. The phenomenon of this group bases on the network of friends and acquaintances who perform in different configurations under the name such as Potentat, Monitor FM, Damastas, Pompa and Viadrosquad. For a person watching it from the outside, the names alone could come as confusing and chaotic patchwork of styles. It is very important and characteristic of Dino. The lack of desire to be understood outside the circle of friends or what follows, the lack of what we could call being attracted to camera. The rappers, rather than creating relations outside, focus on the place they were in and on the audience who they know. These are the main features of the model of the distribution called the centralized network. The relationships with the external subjects are based on the strong relations within the closest setting. What does it mean? The better you know your close, the better you know the strangers. The main force which pushes to create is a grow passion which is visible from the outside. Comparing it to the school years, it is like with a close group of friends from the other class. You do not really get the humor, but you admire the shared energy and envy a little that they get along so well. This was the case with Dino. After years of improving quality of music and constant popularity in Opole, they gained some fame outside the borders of the town. Dinel didn't really elaborate their own style, because they didn't have to. The need to distinguish ourselves comes mainly from the great number of people among whom we want to be noticed. It is different in the case of province. The lack of the crowd makes it possible for artists to develop with greater freedom, without continuous fight for position. This model of the distribution of culture contradicts the myth of the quick fame. Instead, it shows that it can be maintained for a long time as a local legend. These are three basic models of distribution and spread of culture that are present not only in the world of music. To tell a similar story, we could use the history of an ordinary high school, but instead of rappers from Opole, we would show the trajectories of students, a macho, misunderstood lunatic and a group of friends. It is hard to say which model is the best. The first one is short-lived and requires attachment to the style, but allows to gain fame very quickly. The second one is unpredictable, but it enhances the uniqueness of an artist. The last one demands hard work and doesn't give such a broad publicity, but we gain faithful audience. 
none of the presented artists had planned the way they would gain fame. Just like every musician, writer, painter, creator of JPEG files or architect at the beginning of their career, they cannot choose a path to fame. What they do determines the mode of distribution and the way to publicity. It is worth stressing that at the beginning of each of the models, close relationships are important as it's seen in the example of Dino. How we know ourselves and our friends influences how we communicate with others. We have to know our friends in order to play for the strangers.